technology. Just be seated on their phones. For me, um, I, I wonder why we've just gotten to this point in life. Before you wake up, you pray to God. Mm -hmm. You think you strategize on how you want your day to, to be like, but now yeah, you wake up in the morning and the first thing you want to grab is your phone. And I am Yam Guru Agaji. We're now in the Your phone every time. Yesterday was 15, today is 16. So we are counting to the second half, the end of the second half of this month. And I'm glad that we're here already. Yeah, it's been a beautiful month so far. And I'm just wondering how did we get to half of the year already? Like before you know it, we'll be saying Independence Day, Christmas and then Happy New Year. Again. Money making, like it feels like one app, app, something. One app. something. Is, in fact, the worst the now is example one of the time when Nigerians say now you just to. see something <laughs> <else. laughs> because you just can't uh, imagine how we got something here. Something else. Uh, else. Uh, with the things tapping. going <laughs> and <laughs> to tell you how <laughs> many taps that you have. How are you? Mm. Uh, also determine how much you're going to have. And then find out even a million of those taps will not translate into grace substantial. Tapping and tapping, tapping away your time that you can use to make yeah. that's a other thing yeah in a different way i think so one of those people i'm just surviving and, you to and then you're getting how you've been surviving uh, 2, naira or 10,000 mm -hmm. what's that what, what, mm -hmm. what is that meanwhile you can use that time judiciously <laughs> and make even one. more so right welcome to the now breakfast now show on today's show we look at why local government is so funny and that is it's so funny but yeah and i think something else i would like to um just talk about is we have come into the world of social media we'll also and be with social media a lot of people feel like they want to chase well clouds for instance there was that video of a lady who baby. jumped from a bridge um, in Delta State and so many people were there watching her with their phones so you even forget humanity you forget how to connect with people because you're always on your phone there were some people that could have gone there to try to save her but most times we're always fixated about oh i want to be the one catching the trending news i want people to come to my page but it is important that you put your phone down and like richard branson has said this morning don't let the phone manage you you manage the phone you can decide what you want to do with your phone sometimes two people can be in a restaurant you're supposed to have a date and you're just tapping away on your phone. Yeah, you're yeah. not even the connecting. Phone, yes, yeah. you're not even. You you can be together and you're not connecting as much as you would want to. Even in families as well. Don't be parents are on their phones, kids are on their tabs. You know, we phone. need to understand that technology is for you. our good. But just the time, it just depends on how English we use it. Money. It is good to have it's technology. It's good to have a phone. It's good to have a laptop and all of that. But don't let it consume you. And I I think that is it because if you let it consume you, then you forget everything thing that makes you human because a lot of times I mean, people are just fixated on their phones on bus, for me um I, I wonder why on, on your phone at this you're, point you're in life pressing your phone before you wake up you pray right to god you, mm -hmm. you think you strategize on how you want your day to be like but now you wake up in the morning and the first thing you want to grab is your phone which is supposed to be a holy it was made for man not man your phone every time so much into your into technology on your laptop Things around me matter as mm -hmm. well. Things yeah. around me matter even mm -hmm. more than what How you see. I'll also like to say that I understand addiction. Technology sometimes can be an addiction, even though we don't try, we don't really talk about it. Yes, when we hear of addiction, most people think you're talking about drugs, alcohol, and other things. But you can also be addicted to sugar. You can be addicted to your phone. So if you know that you, you're a little bit addicted to your phone, and I think at some point I used to feel that way, what I had to do was put a screen time. So on Monday, which was yesterday, my phone said my screen time was down by 14%. So that's how I know that, okay, you know what? I'm cutting out this time. So you can, if you feel like you're being addicted to your phone, the one thing you can do on your phone, especially most smartphones now, you can just put a screen time that tells you, okay, you are doing too many hours on this. And you can use that time to be productive in other areas. You can use that time. Yeah. So, let's just rush over. Right. <laughs> so moving over to our top trending stories this morning, <laughs> this first one says federal government distributes 44,400 so yeah, bags of rice. I, 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 I something else I would like to. And the um, FCT. The federal government has dispatched 20 trucks of rice to each of the 36 media. states and the federal and capital territory social media, Abuja. A lot of as part of measures like to ease the economic burden of Nigerians. There was that Minister of Information 
and national Ridge, orientation um, in Delta Idris. State. Disclosed so this at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting presided over by so President Bolatino. So you even forget humanity. You forget how to connect with people because you're always on your phone. There were some people that could have gone there to try to save her. But most times we're always fixated about, oh, I want to be the one catching the trending news. I want people to come to my page. But it is important that you put your phone down. And like Richard Branson has said this morning, don't let the phone manage you. You manage the phone. You can decide what you want to do with your phone. Sometimes two people can be in a restaurant. You're supposed to have a date. And you're just tapping away on your phone. Yeah, you're yeah. not even you connecting. Yeah, you're not even. You, you can be together, I, and you're not I, I connecting as every, much every, as you would every want state to. 1, even in families as well. Back. Parents of, are on their 50, phones, kids are on their 50, tabs. Uh, you know, 25 25 25 kids. Kids. the technology you know. is for yes. our good, but it just, the it just depends the last on how count, we uh, use it. It is good to have technology. At least three million people. Three million people. You divide one thousand two hundred bucks by three million people. You know how many grains. That every household <laughs> is going to have because at this point i'm not sure uh we have up to 20 percent in every state that is so well to do they would not want a handout mm -hmm. so you're giving this palliative and you think that this is a, a palliative mm -hmm. that should should be given to people kg. you can't think of a thing that will that have effects for, for everybody mm -hmm. you're, you're just thinking about people that you're going to give and you're saying that they will give to the most vulnerable who knows the most vulnerable, most vulnerable in our society mm -hmm. what data are they using mm -hmm. when they came to jettison the data that the previous administration did even I if also like to even that, that one was, was a bit flawed well. yes but Technology now they said okay we're, we're doing actually, away with this we data try, we even the minister of humanitarian affairs yes, is not no longer there because mm -hmm. the minister was suspended we don't know what has become of that if she is guilty then prosecute her and do what you're supposed to do or sack her and put someone else if she's not guilty bring her back and let the work continue now someone else is going to be commissioned to do this thing and he's going to start from scratch so at the end of the day on monday because yesterday, KG, my phone uh, said, of rise. We'll go to the people that they know. That's all. So yeah, that's do you know the amount know, okay, of corruption that is being, so if you um, feel like you, like, like that is being phone, perpetuated with things like this? Do and I feel phone, personally, I feel like the humanitarian you just put a uh, ministry that tells you, okay, you're doing corrupt. too many hours because when you hear of billions being stolen, not the well that one, and that is like a that is a way for people to cite one money. For this now, I don't understand how only a thousand two hundred people. Will get bags of rice, a bag, half bag of rice, and the FTC, from the federal government over three million people. And then I'm tired of the stopgap measures. Like, if you want to do something, Abuja, you know how they say, whatever is what doing is what doing well. well. Do it well that it would impact lives, and many lives, not just some people. Ages. And even because the little amount of people, which is about a thousand two hundred, we're not sure it will actually get to the vulnerable people, the poor people. We're sure it will not get to them. We are sure because. First of all, it will go to the. Uh, we've seen when people were not this hungry and and, and warehouses were being broken into. Mm -hmm. This is even worse now. Yeah. And the, one of the reasons why it got to that point was that some governors even were keeping this thing to use and celebrate birthday. Some were using it for campaign. Uh, some of these people I heard that our councillor was arrested because he siphoned a truckload of this thing and was meant for the people to can sell somewhere else. And they've been doing it. Every, so every state, one thousand two hundred. We're not learning anything. How many people are in it? Like you said, 50, you know, where is even the data? Uh, how do we know that? So it's, it's not even the, the big right bag of rice. Yeah. It's cool not the really needed. It's like half bag. And as if you're going to do something, uh, please just do something that will impact everybody's life, not just to select few. Because we are all suffering. Even as I am, I need. Yeah, I need the right. We're all suffering, so it's not just some people. Do we even have a middle class anymore? Every household is going to have no middle class. Because at this point, no middle class. I'm not sure. Just either you're rich or you have up to twenty percent in mm -hmm. every state as that. that is so Correct. well to do they would not want to hand out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're down a I give a number that the judiciary workers is begin it definitely to try to The judiciary staff union of Nigeria you can't think of a uh, thing just so that and I'm going to affect the federal strike on Monday in July 15 all the state governors saying that they will give the consolidated judiciary salaries no court proceedings occurred in the high courts when they came to Jefferson the data that the previous administration did even even that one was a bit flawed. Yes, but now they said, okay, we're, we're doing
doing away with this data. Even the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs is not no longer there because mm -hmm. the minister was suspended. We don't know what has become of that. If she is guilty, then prosecute her and do what you are supposed to do or sack her and put someone else. Mm -hmm. If she's not guilty, bring her back and let the, the work continue. Now someone else is going to be commissioned to do this thing mm -hmm. and he's going to start from scratch. At the end of the day, 25 kg uh, of rice will go to the people that they know. That's all. Yeah, do you know the amount of corruption that is being um, uh, yes. like that is being perpetuated with things like this? So and I feel like personally, I feel like the humanitarian uh, ministry ago, that agreements were corrupt. made. So because just when imagine, you hear of now that the courts have been shut down, that people well, whose matters were supposed that is to be like struck out, that, you know, that people who are just, just there in yeah, prison, yeah, just waiting for something to be, a pronouncement to be made, but this cannot be made, so you stay longer than that. If you have an, a health well, issue and you were supposed to be freed, people. you stay there, you may and die. Tired of so the stop gap everybody is important. It's just like every part of the body, everybody is important. So respect the agreement you had with whichever cadre of staff that you have. Not, not just some hard. people, yeah, and, and even the little you. amount of people, Pay which is about 1,200, do well, whatever sure is necessary to ensure that we have a judicial people, system that people. works. We are sure because at the end of the day, if we do not have this, <laughs> we are sure. because because over first of all, it will go to there's the, going to be chaos. Uh, even if the gate men that are going on strike, see now the gates have been locked, so the judges cannot enter, the lawyers cannot enter, nobody can enter now. And so the judges might be willing to do the work, but the gate men said no. They are the ones holding the key. So have to use that. Some were using it for All right, our final top trend is that some of these people are heard that the violence law was arrested because of siphons, a truckload of this rice that was meant for the people who couldn't sell somewhere else. And they've been doing it. Against violating public procurement acts during public hearing on a bill that was passed in the data. How do we know that it's going to get to the right people who really need it? If you're going to do something for the people who really need it, just do something that will be part of everybody's lives, not just a select few. Because we are all public procurement exercise the importance of life, not just a select few. Because we are all Suffering. Even as I am, I need to. Yeah, <laughs> I need we're all suffering. Yeah. So it's not just but some people. Kids. Do we even have a middle class anymore? No middle class. No middle class. It's just either you're rich or you're poor. That's all. Hmm. As simple as that. All right. Our second hot topic? Yeah, court shuts down as a number of judiciary workers begin in definite strike. The Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria. Uh, just soon, an Amber State chapter commenced an indefinite strike on Monday, July 15, over the state government's failure to pay the consolidated judiciary salary structure conjures. No court proceedings occurred in the high courts uh, at Equema Square. Chief Magistrate's mm -hmm. Courts and we'll Customary Courts in an Amovia or Car as the entrance gates were locked, seat. turning away what lawyers and, and litigants. And and let's see how the people who on do Saturday, July wrong will be held responsible. The state government's uh, not compliance with agreements yeah, made in All right, we'll go on a short break. We'll look at the weather. When we return, we'll review the implementation of Congress, a peculiar allowance for judiciary staff. Despite the expiration of the 21-day ultimatum, the government has not met their the judiciary workers' demands, prompting Justin to direct all Anambra State Judiciary staff to withdraw their services indefinitely until further directives. Mm. Agreement, agreement. Yes, but no. the government keeps. I religion. think there's a song like that. So. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, 2011 and 2015. So that is like 13 years and then nine years mm -hmm. ago that agreements were made. So just imagine now that the courts have been shut down. There are people whose matters were supposed to be struck out, mm -hmm. uh, you know. There are people there who are just, be just in there now. in yeah, prison, waiting. just waiting for something to be, a pronouncement to be made. But this cannot be made, so you stay longer than that. If you have an, a health issue and you were supposed to be freed, you stay there, you may die. So mm -hmm. everybody is important. It's just every, like every part of the body, everybody is important. So respect the agreement you had with yeah. whichever cadre of staff that you, you mm -hmm. had, the worker that you have. Yeah, and they should be able to pay the funds, do whatever is necessary to ensure that we have a judicial system that works. Because at the end of the day, if we do not have these people presiding over matters, there's going to be chaos. Even if it's the gate men that are going on strike, see now the gates have been locked. So mm -hmm. the judges cannot enter, the lawyers cannot enter, nobody can it's, enter. It's a shutdown. So the judges might be willing to do the work, but the gate men said no. They are the ones holding the key. So everybody is important. Mm -hmm. important. All right, our final top ten story. Reps won MDAs against violating Public Procurement mm -hmm. Act. The House of Representatives won ministries, departments, and agencies, MDAs, against violating Public Procurement Act during a public hearing on a bill to amend the 2007 Public Procurement Act. 
Rep. Onyeme Idem, Chairman of the House Committee on Public Procurement, emphasized the importance of compliance and threatened to invoke legislative powers and legal actions against non-compliant entities. The bill aims to align with global procurement professional practices, focusing on high standards, professional skills, value for money, and efficiency in MDAs, procurement of works, goods, and services. Dr. Abdul Maman is Secretary of the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply and Malam Bailu Nasir, Director of Civil Infrastructure at the Bureau of Public Procurement, BPP, expressed differing views but agreed to resolve their issues within two weeks to ensure a collaborative and efficient procurement process. Mm. Let's leave that for as a matter for another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've already run out of time. Let's watch out and see what goes on. Yeah, and can, let's see how the people who do wrong will be uh, held responsible. Yeah, it's important. It's important. All right, we'll go on a short break. We look at the weather. When we return, we'll be reviewing the papers. Please stay with us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.